All right, welcome back. Okay, so let's go ahead and find the derivatives of the functions that we just did. So I'm gonna rewrite them in terms of u and then apply the chain rule to it. So f prime of u times u prime. Okay, so example a, uh, that was the same function from example 2c. Uh, so I know what my choice of u is. Remember that was the inside stuff? So that was the x squared plus 6x minus 1. Well, now that I'm interested in the derivative, I'm going to get the derivative of u prime because I need it. That's in the formula. So u prime is going to equal 2x plus 6. So let's rewrite the function in terms of u. Uh, so from that previous example, I know it's just going to be y equals sine of u. So then y prime is going to equal, I just need to do the derivative of sine of u, which is cosine of u, but then I have to multiply it by u prime. Because that's the formula. It's the derivative of the function in terms of u times the u prime. So once I have this, then I can kind of just switch everything back into terms of x. So the u gets right back to what you started with. So x squared plus 6x minus 1. And then u prime is going to be 2x plus 6. And so that is the derivative of this function. So eventually, you're probably going to be able to do a lot of this stuff in your head. You're going to find your own shortcuts uh, and, and whatnot. You're going to find out what works best for you. Um, I don't talk about a lot of shortcuts because, I mean, everybody's different. Um, so you're going to have to kind of figure those out on your own. I'll talk about a couple uh, but for now, it's just a matter of getting the function in the terms of u and then following this. <clears throat> All right, part b, y equals e, e to the sine of x. So I am going to choose the same thing as I did before for the u. Well, now that I want the derivative, I'm going to need u prime that's in the formula. So u prime is cosine of x. So then my function in terms of u is e to the u. So the derivative is e to the u times u prime. So the derivative of e to the u is e to the u and then times the u prime. That's We just followed this right here. Did the derivative of the function times the u prime. So then just get everything back in terms of x or your original variable. So reverse your substitution with the u and then just plug in the u prime. So e to the sine of x times cosine of x. <clears throat> so I know it's a little confusing, the chain rule kind of is. Um, and a lot of people are just like, well, I don't understand why the U prime's in there. It's like, well, sometimes you don't need to understand why it's there. You just need to know that, hey, yes, it's there. Sometimes the understanding has to come after you play with it. So just make sure you're following this, whether you understand it or not. You've got a formula to follow. Just follow it. So the U prime is definitely necessary. You can't leave it out. And the reason for that is because you have to take the derivative of everything that's in there. If you just did the derivative of the sine, you're not doing the derivative of all of this. And so that's what this u prime accounts for. It's the derivative of all that stuff that's in there. Um, and so it just makes it easy to re remember like, oh, hey, I have to do the derivative of all of that too. All right, now let's look at uh, example C and D. So these I kind of, I flipped the order for a reason from example two. So the u for this guy 
is that inside stuff again, 4x plus 3. So then the u prime is 4. So y is going to equal uh, u to the fifth. So then the derivative, just the power rule, so 5u to the fourth times u prime. So then I can just switch it back into terms of x. It's 5 times 4x plus 3 to the fourth. And then the u prime is 4. So this one, I've got a little bit I can simplify. I can multiply the 5 and the 4 together to give me 20 times 4x plus 3 uh, to the 4th. So let's go ahead and do an example D, and then we're going to talk about, um, we're going to look at the results of these uh, examples and compare it to their original functions. Okay, so part D, the U is the inside step, the 2x minus 3. And the u prime is going to equal 2. So rewriting the function is the same as it was earlier, just 4 root u. So then the derivative would be 4 times 1 half u to the negative half times u prime. So 4 times a half is just 2. Uh, the u gets switched out with 2x minus 3. And the u prime is 2. So you can simplify this a little bit. And you can multiply the 2's together and give you a 4. And then I usually don't like working with negative exponents or with fractional exponents. So I'm going to flip this quantity to the denominator and then change it back into a radical. All right, so these past examples, these two examples, C and D, that's really, you can look, you can actually kind of use the power rule. Um, so you can kind of merge the chain rule and the power rule together into one mega rule, I guess. Um, <clears throat> so when exponents are involved like this, it's a little bit easier to kind of just do it all at once. So if you, have a u and it's a differentiable function of x. So like what we were choosing, these are differentiable functions of x. So then the derivative of u with respect to x is given by, uh, you can just apply the power rule. Just pull the exponent down, decrease the power by one, and then multiply by u prime and that'll do it. So it kind of shortcuts this out uh, and it's a bit more uh, direct. And hopefully, once you get really good at these and practiced, uh, even ones like these two examples are going to be really fast. Like, you can just kind of think of this stuff in your head. Like, you know what it's going to change into, what also has to be included. And so you can just jump right from here to an answer. All right, let's go ahead and stop the video here. And we'll continue with some more examples the next one.